morning. Welcome to Winnipeg. Now, this is the plan. I'm going to work at the model table here probably until about mid-morning after things sort of warm up a little bit outside. And, uh, then I'm going to go outside and work on my bike box. Uh, don't know how much of that you're going to get to see. Fortunately, I've got I've got three surveillance cameras just just right out the front there, looking in all directions, pretty much down in the patio where I'm going to be working. So should, I might be able to make up some sort of a time lapse as to what I do. But right now, my my dimension lumber is still standing on its end on my basement stairway. <laughs> I, th I think I showed it to you a couple of weeks ago. Well, it's it's still there. I got a that that's that, I think maybe that's one of the reasons why I keep putting it off because I have to lug that stuff up the stairs. But it's not, we'll we'll get it. I'm, maybe if I just bring up just what I'm going to need, <laughs> don't have to do it all at once. Okay, what have we got here? We've got the painting that we did in the at the Yamato table yesterday. Uh, I remember saying something to the effect of, uh, we'll uh, take a nice close look. Well, we will. Now, this morning, I've already done some painting, and it was, it was this, this little piece right here, uh, which I'm not sure what it is. In fact, I have no idea what it's supposed to be. Uh, I know where it has to go. Uh, and and where where I painted it yesterday, it was being held on by the alligator clip. Well, I flipped it around so I could get the other end now, and that's, that's all I did. Painted just the other end. So as near as I can tell, all these all the parts that we need now for step 25 are are done. They're ready to start assembling. I I can't see anything else here that we have to do. Um, we've even got the, the holes drilled in here for the LEDs, which the plan is to poke the LEDs into the holes after everything is assembled. Then I don't have all these gangly wires all over the place while I'm trying to assemble this part, because I got a feeling it's going to be, it's going to be difficult to get a lot of these joints to, all together at the same time. There's, there's probably going to be a bit of a sequence to it, but uh, we'll, we'll work on it. And that basically might be what we're going to be doing this morning, is just trying to get this, this together. And then, like I say, probably uh, in, a, in a couple of hours, maybe less, I'll, I'll be shuttering her down here for a while. But whether I'm going to come back at it later today, I don't know. Uh, we are not going to be having a pretty sunrise this morning. Uh, it's too cloudy. Uh, and it, it would have happened already. And I, I you know what? I, I got to be honest with you. I, I don't know if we had a sunrise or not because it would have happened uh, a while ago already. And I was busy doing other stuff, so I'll just have to check. And if there was anything, I'll show it to you. If there wasn't, uh, uh, well, that's the way it goes. Um, okay, I don't have any news. Uh, let's, let's just move in. I want to show you a slight problem we've got going on here. And I'll explain to you why we've got the problem. But you can't really see it from back there. So let's, let's get, you, get you down here onto the uh, uh, model table and uh, uh, put you right here and we'll just move right in. Okay, the problem we got is mainly on this part right here. And unless we get the light right it's it's kind of hard to see um so i think what we're going to do is i'm going to uh use my rotating board here and that way i can maybe turn it around and with the light hits it just right you'll be able to see what i'm talking about so uh let's recompose again okay i've got my light adjusted now so that it will cast a shadow I think that's probably going to be the best way you're going to be able to notice this. Now, because the paint was so thin, I'm trying to watch the monitor and talk at the same time, um, 
you'll notice right out here, especially, it the paint had a tendency to pool a little bit more in, in the center, and, and on the edges it kind of feathered out for some reason. And there is a little bit of what you might call modeling going on. It, it's not really... Uh, Okay, now here, here's a here's something. What would what, that be right in the center there? Just notice that now for the first time. Uh, anyway, it's not a real serious problem, and we're probably not going to notice it, especially where this particular part is going to be positioned. Anyway, let let's get our other our other parts here on the on the table. And uh, oh, the 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 uh, solution to not having this happen would have been to do you know, three or four real light dusting coats and, and with this very, very thin paint. Now, where's, where's that jar? Okay, it's, it's the 66 we used. And, uh, where is, was this it? No, it's not, wasn't the 66. What's the matter with me? It, it was uh, this one here, the 338. And, and you'll notice here it, it was thinned out, uh, 40% paint. 60% thinner. I should have gone maybe 50-50, and that would have been better. But, uh, I don't know. I didn't. Uh, yeah, so like I was starting to say, I, I should have done maybe three or four really light coats if I wanted a perfect spraying job. But as it is, we didn't lose any definition in the, uh, in the bolts, did we? You can still see that these are hex bolts, and yeah, it's kind of interesting. Unfortunately, we're probably not going to notice this little detail. Okay, enough rotating here. Let's get our other piece on here and have a look at it. Okay, now I may have made the mistake of not removing this tape yesterday already. I'm hoping I'm not going to be seeing some sort of tape residue stuck on there. No, it looks like it's going to be all right. Okay. That came out pretty good. Yeah, I think that's all right. All right, let's try and uh, put some of these pieces together. Yeah. Okay, moving from left to right in step 25. This piece is this piece. And uh, K13. Looks like it has to be orientated like this. I think we'll probably see when we, when it comes to uh, putting the uh, parts on this module here. Okay, so maybe we'll just get our manual out of the way here. And we will zoom in a little bit. Now, we are going to be working right here. And this has to go very carefully like this. This is the first time I'm trying it, so we're just sort of doing a dry, a dry run here. bit of a tight fit here. Sorry to be 
getting this out of your field of view, it seems that this partition and this partition is on the close side, you might say. Now we've got to get these, these tabs down in there. They almost want to go. Maybe I should uh, lower the camera a little bit so that you can see in there better. Time is marching on here. And uh, I think this is going to go. So let me zoom in just a little bit here. Okay. I do you believe there was are lined no they're not lined up they are not lined up what's the problem here okay maybe I just don't have it I gotta be careful what I squeeze on or I'll break my uh, railings off I almost said ladders okay there's only two of them I think the problem is that the that this wall right here, bulkhead or whatever it is, and this one are too close together, and yet they they shouldn't be because these um, it's probably a, a the paint is probably holding them apart here. I might have to take this off camera so that I can get a better angle at it. It almost wants to go, but not quite. I'm going to have to just sort of twist this around a little bit here. Sorry about this. Why does that not want to go down? There it goes. We got her. Okay, I'm not going to pull that out of there. I'm not going to pull that out of there. Where's my uh, my extra thin here? And uh, I think I think what we're going to do is we're just going to put a, a let, let it wick its way along the bottom here. And um, let's just turn this around, make sure everything's right. Yep, you can see the toilet through the door. That was probably the most important room in the entire ship, boat. All right, well, we're getting there, folks, we're getting there. Okay. This almost looks like it's come up. I wonder if I could tap it down just, just a little bit here. Maybe put a, or is there something I can tap with that's, that's soft? Okay. Put, a, put a piece of wood on here so that this is kind of, okay, and see if we can just tap it down. I can, I can almost see it better by looking at my monitor right now. I guess that's about as down as it's going to go. Sometimes trying to do this sort of thing off on camera is uh, kind of looks really awkward doesn't it all right I don't think we uh, need to worry too much about this coming loose what about right here on this bulkhead right here 
Just put a little bit. Let it run. Let it run down because I, I do believe that this this whole area is we we don't see it. Okay, if all those connections that I just glued right now uh, hold, it, it should be fairly strong. Yeah, this, this piece is not going to fall out of there, that's for sure. Okay, I was just about ready to upend our part here. And I was noticing that if you follow the, the end of this all the way down, it looks like it's supposed to go into a slot right here. And if I get the light just right, I can almost see it. Um, right there down there beside the toilet. Now I don't I don't know if that slot is, you know, a millimeter or two proud this way of, of the bulkhead. And this is supposed to sort of stand out a bit. It, 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 it almost feels like it's kind of in that slot right now. I don't want to take my clamp off yet because I don't think the glue is, is quite set. But uh, maybe this, this piece is, is not supposed to be, you know, glued tight up against the side of the bulkhead. Yet on the other hand, Who's going to notice it anyway? Because this is this is all going to be covered over, and the only way you're going to be able to see what's what's in here is by looking through the door. And we're not going to be seeing a whole lot, but it would be kind of nice to get it right if I could. Well, let's just uh, let's let our let our glue dry here yet. Okay, a few moments ago, Missy the dog came by for her dog cookie. And I forgot to take the GoPro along. And yesterday I took the GoPro along, but I forgot to put the clip in the video. But what we did get was those of you who watched the bike ride will have got to see Missy. Because I just happened to come across her when I was starting my ride. Uh, yeah, that was, that, was a, that was not planned. It was just a coincidence. Okay. This might be a real good time to take a bit of a break here while well, this, well, this glue is uh, drying. And uh, maybe uh, for safety's sake, I think I'll just lay this back down. And uh, yeah, I'm going to take, uh, take a bit of a break now, edit, the, edit everything out that we've taken up until right now. I haven't even uh, done the opening scene yet where I clunk the coffee cup down, so... I, I don't know what uh, turned out and what didn't. <laughs> I think it all turned out. It usually does. Uh, yeah, so uh, we'll probably see you back here in two, three hours. Because after I do the editing, I plan to go out and work on the bike box. Looks like it's going to be a nice day. Okay, here's what's been happening. I've probably been working on the bike box outside there on the patio for about maybe going on three hours and uh, I got one sheet of plywood on one frame there's six sheets of plywood if I can do one sheet a day I'll be done in about a week <laughs> um, okay I'm gonna call her quits for today it's uh, I want to relax I'm gonna go for a bike ride I find I find uh, sitting on that e-bike and Going down the bike path extremely relaxing. I think I've mentioned that before. I think I said something to the effect if I if I want to have fun, I'll take the scooter. If I want to relax, I'll take the e-bike. <laughs> okay, uh, anyway, that's the plan. So uh, thanks for watching everybody. And all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.